Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. So we talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm your host, Jeff Reed. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Now, the coaching carousel is continuing in college basketball, and the Providence Friars have hired their next head basketball coach. They have hired former George Mason head coach Kim English to be the new Friars head coach. I'm going to go over what I think this means for Providence now that they have Kim English as their new head coach, replacing Ed Cooley and whether I think Providence can still have success in the Big East in the future. Now, this is a really interesting hire for the Providence Friars to hire Kim English as their next head coach because you look at Ed Cooley. He did a fantastic job with Providence throughout his tenure. He took the Friars to several NCAA tournaments, and they had a lot of success. And Providence is a program that is capable of having a lot of success. They might not have the money and the funding that a lot of other programs have, which is why... Ed Cooley did leave Providence for Georgetown, but still Providence is a program that is built for success. They have a good fan base. They're in the Big East Conference, which is a basketball conference going up against all these other teams that are really solid in the sport. And plus the fact that Ed Cooley left Providence in a pretty good place right now. They're one of the better teams in the Big East as we speak. But still, Ed Cooley's departure will be extremely tough for Kim English to be able to handle for the Providence Friars because Jared Bynum, he's in the transfer portal. And more could be following him in the portal away from Providence. Some could go to Georgetown to follow Ed Cooley. Some could go to other programs. So Kim English won't have the roster that Ed Cooley left at Providence, which is really tough in the transfer portal era. If Kim English was able able to come in and be able to have Ed Cooley's players, I think that Kim English could have a lot of success right off the bat, but since he's probably not going to have the full well of players at Providence, it's going to be really interesting to see what happens off the start, but Providence is in a good place right now. They have had a lot of success, and I think a lot of players will want to play for a successful Big East program under a head coach in Kim English who has an NBA background, and that's a really big key here as well. Kim English, he was a pretty solid basketball player at the Missouri Tigers in college basketball, and then he had a three three-year professional basketball playing career. He played a little bit in the NBA. He was drafted by the Detroit Pistons, and he also played at some other stops as well once he was out of the NBA. But Kim English, he's a pretty solid basketball player. And he's been an assistant coach for a few seasons in college basketball, most notably as the assistant head coach for Rick Barnes at Tennessee for a couple seasons. And then he got the George Mason head coaching job in the Atlantic 10. And George Mason's a really tough job right now because ever since Jim Laranega took George Mason all the way to the Final Four back in 2006 on their incredible run, George Mason has not been the same. They've been nowhere near the same program in the A-10. And you look at what... Kim English was able to do in his first season at George Mason. He took the Patriots to a 14 and 16 and 7 and 9 record in the A10. And that's not too bad considering where George Mason has been. And then in his second season at George Mason, he took the Patriots to a 20 and 13 record and an 11 and 7 record in the A10. Obviously, they did not make the NCAA tournament or the NIT, but there was marked improvement at George Mason. And Kim English showed that he could recruit at a fairly high level at George Mason. I think because of the fact he was a former NBA player, and he's a really young coach as well. He's really relatable to the younger generation. He's only 34 years old. And this is a really interesting move by Providence to go from Ed Cooley, who's 53 years old, down to Kim English, who's only 34 years of age. He's one of the youngest head basketball coaches in college basketball, especially now at the Power 5 level because most Power 5 level head coaches are usually in their 40s and 50s and upward. But Kim English, only at 34 years old, coaching at the Power 6 level if you include the Big East. The Big East is a really good basketball conference. And I think it's going to be really interesting to see if Kim English can translate the success that he did have at George Mason, specifically in his second year, over to the Big East with the Providence Friars. Because it will be a lot tougher. You're going to be going up against the Marquettes. You're going to be going up against Yukons and the Xavier's. And if Villanova can get back on track. And some of these other programs, now you have Rick Pitino at St. John's. Ed Cooley's still lurking around at Georgetown now. It's going to be really interesting to see with Kim English, and I think he can do it. I think that with Kim English's NBA background, and I think the fact that he is a younger head coach and that some younger head coaches can have success, I think it is a possibility that Providence could really be a good program for years to come to continue the success that Ed Cooley had at Providence with Kim English now at head coach. But this is a risk. This is not one of those slam dunk hires where you could say, oh, Rick Pitino to St. John's. That's a slam dunk hire because it's Rick Pitino. He's a Hall of Fame coach. St. John's knows what they're going to get from him. Even now that he's at the age of seven, He's a great head coach. He can get players into the program, and he'll be able to have a lot of success. Chris Beard going to Ole Miss. Even with all the complications that a Chris Beard or a Rick Pitino have with their baggage in the past, 
Both of these are great head coaches. Ole Miss is getting a great coach with Chris Beard, and it took the situation at Texas for the Rebels to be able to land a coach of that caliber in Chris Beard, and he should have a lot of success as well. So you look at some of these big slam dunk head coaching hires that these teams have made. I don't think Kim English is a slam dunk hire for Providence. I don't think that Kim English is possibly the best guy that they could get. There's probably other people that they could have possibly have gotten after the Providence Friars, but Providence is a tougher job in some of these other places. Providence is not one of the biggest brands in college basketball so it's really difficult to get one of the best names in the sport to come to your program so I think overall Providence did not do a bad job getting Kim English he is a younger head coach he's relatively unproven even though he has had some limited success at George Mason he did show marked improvement from year one to year two and I think that is a key when you're looking at Kim English going to Providence you see that his career is in the upward trajectory he had good success as an assistant coach he had a pretty good success at George Mason he's proved that he's a pretty good recruiter and I think overall if he can recruit at Providence bring in some good players through the transfer portal which you'll have to do because it's looking like a lot of players are going to be leaving the Providence program now that Ed Cooley's gone which is really tough for Kim English to deal with but if Kim English can bring in some players that are really solid through the transfer portal and be able to recruit at a fairly high level for Providence just like Ed Cooley did I think that Kim English will have success at Providence I'm not sure if he will meet the success that Ed Cooley had or even be able to exceed it I think it's a possibility he could exceed Ed Cooley's success at Providence, but it will be interesting to see for sure. I think Kim English is a relatively unproven product. I think that Kim English could have a lot of success at Providence. It really could not work out as well. Providence could start going downhill. I do think that overall this was one of the best hires that Providence could have made, even though they probably could have gotten a more proven head coach. I think of most of the younger head coaches that are unproven, I think Kim English is a pretty solid hire. I think it really can work out if he's able to recruit and bring in some good players to Providence and have them competing in the tough and rugged Big East. I think Providence could have a lot of success. We're just going to have to wait and see what happens with Kim English at Providence. But if I had to guess, I think this hire has a much better chance of succeeding for Providence than it does failing. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below what you think about Providence hiring Kim English as their next head coach and whether you think this was the best hire Providence could have made and whether you think Kim English can have success as the Providence Friars head coach. Follow me on Twitter as well and I will see you next time.